One of the world's largest pianos is making some noise in Dunedin. Built by a young Timaru man, it's long enough to comfortably lie down in, if he wanted to. Some of the country's top concert pianists have played it, and now a few students are trying it out. Dave Gooselink reports. The unusual look of this very grand piano turns heads, but it's the sound that comes out when it's played that really strikes a chord. Sound is just a really big, deep, rich sound. Regular pianos use copper wound strings on the bass notes to reduce their length. Adrian Mann wanted to see just how much steel piano wire he'd need to hit the same pitch. I found out that it was about 20, 20 odd foot, foot long, but the sound was so incredible. It just really inspired me to want to build a piano. The young inventor created what's believed to be the world's longest single keyboard piano. It measures 5.7 metres in length and weighs 1.2 tonnes. Man started the project when he was 16, custom making many of the parts for his Alexander piano. For the last two years it's been housed in a Timaru church, but the piano tuner and restorer was keen to shift the unique instrument to his Dunedin workshop, a move that proved a big logistical exercise. It was. Actually, the fire department um, had to come in and they blocked half the road off to let me, let me actually back up the driveway. There's been a lot of interest in the new arrival, a few players even getting to tinkle the ivories. At first, I'm very honoured to play this piano because I know this is the world's biggest piano in the world. The piano man's got a few more projects to tackle, including restoring this ornate piano once belonging to Prime Minister Sir Sidney Holland. But there's no plans, he says, to start a production line for his extra-long creation. Dave Gooselink, News Hub, 